What's up guys, my name's Tim, and welcome to the Private Label Masters YouTube channel. I'm a top Amazon private label seller. That means I sell my own physical product brands on Amazon.com. If you're interested in learning more, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and check out all the videos that we've already made for you guys. Let's jump in to Feedback Whiz on my computer. Now before we do that, if you're currently already selling on Amazon, and you've already signed up for another email automation tool already, I understand. You know, email automation tools is kind of like car insurance. You shop around at the very beginning when you're starting to drive, you pick one, and you never look back unless something special comes up. And that something special is today in Feedback Wiz. Let's jump on the computer right now. I'll show you some of these key features and how simple of a user interface it is. All right, okay, so here we are inside of Feedback Wiz. Now this is a demo account, all right? This is not my actual Feedback Wiz account, but Feedback Wiz has been so generous to allow me to use this demo account to show you guys some of the features. And I wanna show you some of the features that I love and why I ultimately switched over to this tool as opposed to other ones. Okay, so when you first come onto Feedback Wiz, you see all these different graphs and charts. Let's break these down really quick. Top left, we have seven day periods, okay? In the blue, we have FBA orders. The gray, we have FBM orders. And then the light blue, we have email sent for those week long periods, okay? And then we have totals for the entire month. Now, each one of these graphs that you see here can be changed into a different type of graph or pie chart or however, which way is the easiest for you to discern the information. Now let's move over to this side. Now this is seller feedback, okay? Not to be confused with product reviews, but seller feedback is tremendously important. This is actually one of the, this is one of the areas that Amazon really pays attention to when it comes to ranking sellers in the A9 algorithm. So you're really gonna want to pay attention to your seller feedback and this is a great way to do it, okay? Again, we have week long periods and then we have red, which is negative seller feedbacks, blue, which is positive, light blue neutral, and yellow, which is removed, okay? I'm gonna make a video on how to manage your seller feedback a little bit later. Then we have our totals on the end. Moving down, here it is, just an overall look at your account, total sales promotions for the last 30 days. Again, these are week-long periods. And then we have over here product reviews. Here it's a pie chart, but again, we can show different types of charts, whatever works best for you. Almost five stars, four stars, three stars, two stars, and one stars. How many overall that you got for the entire month? It gives you a good idea on how your products or your catalog as a whole is performing. Here in the bottom left, it has some interesting features. These are some quick stats. For example, I'll show you this one. It says frequent buyers. This is interesting because it'll go in and find out who buys often from you. And then you can go in and find their exact order number within Amazon and send them a friendly message. This is a special customer for you. You wanna treat them good, perhaps send them a promo code, and you might get a few more sales from that, okay? Let's go over here to the right. Here we have campaign history. These just show your active campaigns, some of your inactive, when they were set up, what they are called, what are they doing, and then finally the total email sent, okay? But now let's get into the nitty gritty on some of the features I also enjoy. Now one of the things that has been difficult as I have navigated through different tools like this is just creating a simple template to email customers, okay? So let's go ahead and set one up and I'll show you one of the features I like. We're gonna go here to campaigns, then template manager, okay? Then we're gonna go to create a new email template, simple, and here we have it, okay? Let's name our template. We're gonna call this one review request gif. Let's do the subject line as review request. Again, just a heads up, this is not a subject line that I would recommend, but I'm gonna have this here as a, play, a placeholder. Then we have style. Now notice over here on the bottom right hand side, what happens when I change the style? Oh, okay, so we have these different colors. So I'm gonna go with a nice blue, okay? The email type, we are looking for reviews and we're gonna give it a color. This will help us to sort it amongst the rest of our other emails, okay? So here we have now, on the left side, this is kinda of like the HTML template side, and on the right side is what it would actually look like to the customer, okay? We have this button here, it says show variables. We click here, you here on the left side, these are all different pieces of information that perhaps you would like to include in your email. 
including different links that you might want to include. And instead of you trying to figure out what all of them do, you can just click here, insert into editor when you find one that you would like and keep going, okay? So currently we have here, if we get out of here, we have dear customer name and notice it pulls the customer's name for that order right here, CLO, okay? Now we're gonna go down here. I wanted to reach out and send you a big, let's go up here now, Gift. go up here now. We're gonna go to a website called Giphy. These are all different animated GIFs and we're gonna pick one. So let's do, type in here, thank you. So what we're gonna wanna do is look for a GIF that is gonna strike some emotion in our, in our customer, all right? So whether it's humor, whether it's something that touches their heart, we're going with humor on this one, so I'm clicking on Dwight from The Office. Let's click here, we're gonna right click, we're gonna copy the image, we're gonna go back into our email template, and we are going to paste it. And there it is, simple as that, and there we have it, okay? Let's make this format a little better. So let's highlight everything. Then we're going to center it. Then we're going to change the font and let's increase it a bit. Okay, let's go to let's go to 18. Okay, there it is. Here we have, dear Cielo, I wanted to reach out and send you a big thank you. You know what? I think Dwight should be a little bigger. There we go, simple as that. Now he's a little bigger, but he's starting to look a little grainy. So I'm gonna bring him back down a little bit. Here we go. Let's continue on with our email. I wanted to reach out and send you a big thank you. Your In the moment we saw your order come through, we, is that another area here? Let's search leap for joy. See something funny, that's pretty funny. Copy, let's go in here, let's paste it. Put this at 50%, a little smaller. One quick favor, we would like to ask if you have just 30 seconds. Would you be so kind to leave our small family run business a product review on Amazon? Each review we receive is a cause for celebration. Go up here again, let's type in celebration. Oh, this guy's funny right here. Let's copy that image. Let's go over here, paste him in there. Let's make him a little bigger. There we go. Let's see how it's looking over here. Dear Cielo, I want to reach out and send you a big thank you. Let's fix some English errors. The moment we saw your order come through, we leapt with joy. One quick favor we'd like to ask if you have just 30 seconds. Would you be so kind to leave our small family run business a product review on Amazon? Each review we receive is a cause for celebration. Please click the link below to leave a product review. So then we go in here to show variables, that product review request. Let's insert that. See how it shows here, product review. Let's insert another variable, product image. This way they can click on either of the two and leave a review. And also if they forgot who you, are, who you are or what product it was, there you go. And let's do one other thing. Let's add a few emojis in here. So I like to go to Emojipedia, point. Here it is, backhand pointing down. We're gonna copy this. We're gonna go back in here. We're gonna paste a few of these. Notice it sends over here our little preview. And we're gonna keep going. With warmest regards, the Panda Remote Family. All right, so there it is. Let's make this a little bigger. There we go. Let's go in here and add our logo. So we're gonna go here, add a picture. I'm gonna go on my desktop. Here we go. Panda, open, there we go. All right, so here's our email. Dear Cielo, I wanted to reach out and send you a big thank you. The moment we saw your order come through, we left with joy. One quick favor we would like to ask if you have just 30 seconds, would you be so kind to leave our small family run business a product review on Amazon? Each review we receive is a cause for celebration. Please click the link below to leave a product review. With warmest regards, the Panda Remote family. And then you can send yourself a test email just to make sure that it looks the way you'd like. Now one last thing, if you do happen to have a PDF or some type of ebook that you'd like to attach to the email, very simple, you just go right here to upload and there you would attach it. 
Let's go into the next feature that I really enjoy about this tool. It has to do in this orders tab here at the top. We click here orders. Here we see all the orders that have come through. We can see on the far right hand side, different emails that are queued, how many. But here's what I like to use this page for. Oftentimes we get angry customers and we see them in the messaging system within Amazon. We know they are unhappy and we are trying to limit the amount of negative reviews we get. So when you're inside of the buyer seller messaging system and you have an unhappy customer, what you'll do is you'll grab the order ID, okay? So I'm just gonna pretend this order ID is what we've grabbed inside of our seller central account because we know this person is upset. We do not want to send them a review request. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click here on date range. We're gonna click here on order ID. Then we're gonna paste it in here. Then we're gonna click search and there's our angry customer, okay? Now the next step is very simple. You can have a virtual assistant do it who does your customer service or you can do it yourself. You click on the order you go to the drop down menu and you write, do not solicit, okay? Because we do not want an email going to him. It's super simple. Each time you go through your customer messages and you find an upset customer, find their order review, go in here to order, search for them, and then put them on the do not solicit. Now, if they send you an email back and they say, you know what, thank you for solving the problems, we'll just go right back in here and we will remove them from the do not solicit and then the emails will start to go to them. That is another feature that I really enjoy about Feedback Wiz and it's so simple. So that was Feedback Wiz, pretty simple to use, very straightforward and you can see the benefits of having an email automation tool for your Amazon business. So if you are currently saying to yourself, you know what, I need this and I need this now. Down below in the description, I have a 50% off your first month if you wanna go and join right now. Now, if you were like me, you already have all your campaigns set up in another tool, and you think of all the work and the pain to move them over to Feedback Wiz, today's your day. I reached out to the CEO of Feedback Wiz, and he has said that him and his team, free of charge, as long as you set up the templates inside of Feedback Wiz, they will help assist move all your campaigns over. That is a tremendous relief, and right now is the time to take advantage of this. I know the stress of thinking, you know, some of my emails have PDFs attached to it, eBooks. I wanna make sure they all get to the customers. Now's the time to make this switch if you're thinking about it. And if you're a new seller, email automation tool is a requirement, in my personal opinion, to have a successful Amazon business. Reviews are the lifeblood of your listings. And emailing and asking customers for review will help you get a tremendous amount more of those. They will also email you back and give you feedback about your product, about things you may switch. It can help you get less negative reviews by heading off those upset customers through those emails. Thanks again, you guys, for loyally supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.